The issue of oil exploration has been out of the spotlight, but that does not mean that conservation groups are resting easy. In fact, groups such as Oceana Belize are busy getting the word out to the community that they need to be vigilant despite a government commitment to a moratorium. Raquel Mendez is the Toledo Field Representative for Oceana Belize. Currently, our biggest campaign is offshore oil, and we're trying to promote the protection of our marine environment and the effects of offshore oil. What are likely to be that impact? We know that for World Oceans Day, we went to the Snake Keys mm -hmm. and we saw the beauty that is out there. What are you trying to achieve? Well, firstly, how much or how important it is, because sometimes we we're not emphasizing enough how much this means to not only Toledo but to the entire country and surrounding countries. Should seismic testing or any form of offshore oil um, happen in Belize or Toledo, it would not only affect Belize but the surrounding countries. So it is important not only for us but everyone around us. Seismic testing affects the animals and it, the animals, you know, they migrate or move around in the sea. So any little thing that disrupts their environment is a great danger to us. What would you say to those who are saying, well, development, there needs to be development? Um, is Oceana saying completely no to offshore oil exploration? We don't support offshore oil any at all. Any form, whether it be seismic testing or any, we don't support it. What are you going to do or what do you have in mind given that we have heard, mm -hmm. nothing official, but we have heard that one of the big companies are reapplying to, um, for their concession? Well, we're trying to visit everybody and also to, um, to remind them that we hold the power, the people of Belize, the people of Toledo hold the power and that we want them to know how important it is to protect our marine environment, just to inform them and it will be them to decide whether they want it or not or, or well we, we are only telling them how important it is and giving them the opportunity to decide whether they want it or not. The government has been silent so far on, on the whole issue. Does that make you feel comfortable that you're not hearing anything out of Belmopan? It doesn't make me comfortable um, any at all. I, just you know sometimes the government goes ahead and still push forward what they want to do for example they began seismic testing in the san pedro area and if it were not for the vocal community that they wouldn't have seized it at all and given that the prime minister in a previous interview had already stated that there was a moratorium on offshore oil and that would only be lifted um within um specific uh, terms however we didn't hear anything at all until it had already begun and it was in the water. Mm -hmm. So not hearing anything doesn't mean that there's nothing happening. It makes us very uneasy to know that although there might not be anything, but there's also a great possibility that we might just look out into the sea one day and see a big ship out there trying to do seismic testing. So what are you asking the people of Toledo and surrounding areas to do? So to get out there, Get informed. Also, um, make sure that your voice is heard. Last week, Oceana Belize sponsored a trip for local journalists to the Port Honduras Marine Reserve as part of activities for World Oceans Day.